Hello folks, welcome back. In a previous lecture, we have seen how Git Drip helps us to understand what are the differences between the two commits. In this lecture, we are going to see how can I identify what changes I have pushed in the specific commit. I don't want to compare two different commits. I just want to see what are the changes I have done in the specific commit. In that case, we can use a command called git show. Okay, this is the command which helps us to identify what are the changes we have pushed through a commit. Before that one, we need to find out the git sha code that is git log. This helps us to identify the git sha code. So we were talking about head means which is representing to the latest commit and origin master. I didn't talk about this one, which means that it is a remote repository, even remote repository also mapping to the same commit. Remote repository nothing but github.com there whatever repository we have that is also pointing to the same repository sorry same commit. Alright now I want to execute git show command for that git show I am going to take the latest commit and uh, this is the sha code so I am listing out the latest commit sha code. Now you can see what and all changes I have introduced in this commit and what I have removed. It means that we have removed this line and these are the new changes we introduced and we didn't touch this one and we removed this one we added this one like this whatever changes we have done in the latest commit all those are representing over here similar way we can do again git show instead of using sha code i can just give the head as well okay git show head this is also going to give the same output why because head also representing to the same commit now i would like to know what are the changes I have pushed previous to previous commit. If that is the case, I can do git log and find out the previous to previous commit. This is the previous commit. Okay, so git show. This is the previous to previous commit. Okay, and these are the changes I have introduced. Sorry. So here I have merged one branch with the another branch. Nothing but I have done some additional commits in the remote repository. I might have pulled that one. That is the reason it is showing. Okay, same thing I can list out by using head minus two. Head minus two, nothing but latest one is head. Minus one means previous. Minus two means previous to previous. So head tilde two, it is also going to display the same commit. Okay, so this is how we can list out the changes what we have done in our previous commits. Now I would like to see how many people has changed code in my particular file. I don't want to see changes what are done in your file. Now I would like to see how many people has worked on that file. Why do we want to see? Assume that you have written a working application but after few commits it got corrupted. You don't know who has done who has introduced those bugs. Now you would like to see who has done the commits. For that you can just use the git log but you want to see in a specific file who has done that particular change. In this case we can use a command called git annotate on the desired file. Let's take that I want to find out who has changed my Jenkins docker file. Okay let's take the Jenkins docker file. So we can use git annotate okay git annotate followed by the file. If I give this command it is going to list out who has created each line of this file? If I take the first line, okay, in this file, let me display that file as well so that you can understand clearly. You can see this is the first line, second line, third line. So like that, multiple lines are there. So first line from sent OS. So this is the first line who has introduced that is introduced by Shankar and with this commit ID. And you can see one commit, these all are same commit. These lines are added in the same commit and this is another commit and this is uh, also same commit and this is again first commit like this you can see each line and who has done these changes and when they have introduced these changes and what is the commit id assume that i am finding bug over here somebody added this line then i can easily identify that okay who is updated this line so this guy has recently updated this line so this is causing for the issue we can ask why he has introduced this line and what is the motto behind that this is how we can identify who has introduced a bug in your file easily if you know where exactly the bug is. So this is but if you want to identify with the git log command who has done this change then we need to go to the each commit and check out what files he has modified whether this particular file is there in his commit or not. Okay that is difficult right. 
instead of that one we can use the git annotate command which helps better all right that's all for this lecture in next lecture we are going to understand how the commits appear in the github account thanks for watching and see you there